Hey everyone, I am a few days late posting this video, but if you don't already know, we are sponsoring this year's Maker Challenge Central Epoxy Showdown. If you've never heard of it, never fear. It's gonna be a contest where you can make some very cool epoxy stuff, share it on Instagram, and get a chance to win both notoriety as an epic maker of epoxy things, but also some cool prizes. I don't know what all the vendors are giving away, but Crafted Elements, as one of the sponsors, are giving away a $250 credit for our website to two different winners, one of each of the categories. And I'm also one of the judges for this year's epoxy showdown, so I can't obviously participate, but I've been asked to kind of do like a creative kind of a different project. Now I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool to do something that we've never done before? I wanted to do something a little bit unique and I'll give you a hint. Bowls. Ah. All right, so you guys have seen these raised dog feeders before and maybe you've even some, seen some with some wood and resin tops, but have you ever seen a full solid resin raised dog bowl oh snap this mold i literally spent the last couple of days creating just for this challenge it's not even on our website yet but this is going to allow you to create a base with two giant openings for stainless steel dog bowls it's also going to let you create solid resin legs to put under said dog bowl base and raise it up so we'll have a full solid resin raised dog feeder um, I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera angle so you can see what project I'm working on here. But if you want more information on the Makers Challenge Central Epoxy Showdown 2024, head over to Makers Challenge Central Instagram. You can also go to makerschallengecentral.com, I believe it is, and you can see the full rules and details how you enter the contest there. And again, that is ending on August 25th. So you've got to get your projects made, your videos created and posted by August 25th. So how are you? I've already gone ahead and sprayed our mold with some MAN 300 low buildup mold release. Very important for silicone molds. I've mixed up some Total Boat Thick Set Resin and some Black Diamond Liquid Metal Pearl Pigment. Now my concept here is I'm gonna make some solid aluminum looking legs thanks to the Liquid Metal Pearl Pigment. I'm gonna fill this up by half, I'm gonna let it set. And my dogs aren't so smart, so what I'm gonna do is try and mess with them. I'm gonna grab some kibble, I'm gonna encase it in the top section of this resin. So once they're done eating their kibble and drinking the water from the bowls, there's gonna be kibble they just can't get at. I'm sorry guys, I was lacking creativity on this one. All right, so I gone ahead, like I said, and sprayed that already, mixed up some resin. I'm gonna fill this up to roughly the halfway point. It is a one inch deep mold. Um, so halfway will cover up those recesses for inserting the legs. So that'll be sufficient for what we want to do here. All right, super simple, nothing fancy here. So we're gonna let this set up over the next couple of days. We're gonna come back, we'll lay down the kibble, we'll put a clear layer of resin on there, and then we'll demold our epic double dog bowl epoxy project for the Maker's Challenge. All right, guys, again, Maker's Challenge Central is what you wanna tag and you wanna also hashtag Epoxy Showdown 2024 if you want to make an entry. Um, and again, that is until August 25th and you have a chance to not only be considered an epic epoxy maker, but you're gonna get the chance to win some amazing prizes as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll come back next week on this.